Top 8 is starting. I see. After this, we'll switch over. Sweet. GG's, GG's, GG's. Okay, uh, we're missing top eight. Why don't you guys tell me top eight we're starting? Top eight, Frosty Faustings. Dual Kevin versus just a kid. Over 700 people in this tournament. It's kind of funny to me how a lot of our offline majors have become just like, uh, it's the same people we see in the online weeklies. So the top eight has Dual Kevin, just a kid, Punk, and JB in top eight and then a lot of other familiar faces and losers, but it's kind of like a run back of the CPT Midwest top eight plus Punk and JB. And then a lot more people entered for fun. So like the top level representation is kind of the same. That's that's the consequence of having good net code, I guess. But dual Kevin, so we have a couple Capcom Cup qualifiers, right? Dual Kevin, it's in Capcom Cup. Joe Lumet Rogan was in this tournament too, but he, he only got ninth. Burnout. Mm, he, he, oh, that was dangerous. He spent the bar to try to secure the chip. Good to see that the online scene is still the same. Not much excuse you can make now for online. There's zero excuse. Even in Street Fighter V, there was barely an excuse, right? For a lot of these online tournaments, I mean, there was definitely flubs that would happen with the online netcode, but with a lot of the regional online tournaments we were doing, it was still the same strong players doing well, right? But for Street Fighter VI, there's zero excuse now. And because of the improved netcode, we're playing coast to coast. So our big, like, TNS on a Wednesday, what you see in top eight is what you're going to see in the offline tournaments. Just depends on who decides to actually fly out for the weekend. Dual Kevin's gamer face is so got, uh, top tier. Ah, uh, meaty fireball. Smart choice from Kev. Stuffed. 69 every time. First game to Dual Kevin. I would assume they're doing first to three for top eight. The rest of the tournament was first to two. I mean, the big thing about offline is not the actual quality of the gameplay. It's the human element. It's seeing the players' faces, hearing the crowd, people actually caring about it. That's what actually matters. Is the stream dying for other people? <laughs> okay. Dual Kevin rushing in. Kevin is so solid and consistent. Oh, big shimmy. Convert. Hmm. Interrupt. Oh, you're dead. Dual Kevin just shutting just a kid down right now. Look at the driving to situation. So much better for Dual Kevin there. That punished? Dude, having a six frame crouching meaty punch of the gods is so privileged. Uh... You know, JP, yeah, I don't want to downplay JP, JP, but one thing he doesn't have is a six frame medium. And uh, Luke's crashing medium punch is six frames. There's so many things that are negative six in this game that Luke exclusively gets huge damage punishes. Not exclusively, but some of the best punishes. So there's a lot of range things in this game that are negative six, but they're ranged out so you can't reach with lights. And most mediums even would whiff, but not for Luke, man. Oh my god, that was close. I thought it was going to be way further away from killing than that. Oh, plus frames. He can't DI that. He has no health to DI. Is he going to activate level 2 somehow? Oh, oh, he didn't convert? Oh, big whiff punish. Don't drop. I feel like he's been having some drops. Okay, hey, hey, is this going to kill now, actually? Oh, he's dead. All right, alive. That was close. This is Just a Kid's scene. Um, you know, this is, this is in Chicago. Just a Kid is Milwaukee and also competes. Is, he lived in Chicago for some period of time. I don't think he lives there right now. But he's competed in the Ignite weeklies in Chicago heavily. So is Dual Kevin, but Dual Kevin's from Iowa, I believe. So he's Midwest, but he has to travel out to, to these events. Indiana, sorry. You're, you're right. Indiana. I, I, apologies. I don't know why I said Iowa. Just Midwestern states that start with I. Wow, what a challenge after the overhead. So yeah, after overhead drive rush like that, you are plus one. But if there's any amount of space, it's you have to commit to just a, a light to take your turn back. So at, like at worst, he would eat like a jab conversion to nothing. So I like the challenge in case he thought uh, Jessica would try to overextend his boy's dry. 
Dual Kevin is one of the most dry and efficient players on the planet. He's always been that way. That is his Dual Kevin specialty. Supreme fundamentals and patience. It takes a refined palette, palette to appreciate the dry gameplay. Punk versus JB. Like we mentioned before, JB actually does have a decent record against Punk in Street Fighter 6 so far. So this is not be free from... Oh my god! First interaction is dry rush into EXDP. JB will do that, but it's just to send a message. It's like, hey, you don't trust your reactions for checking my my drive rushes. Punk dropped. I looked at the chat for a second. I don't know what combo he went for. He dropped whatever it was. Punk is in. JB on the back foot here. Oh, counter hit conversion. Very nice. What's he gonna go for? Oh, Punk reads the tick, uh, the meaty throw setup. First round to Punk. Okay, so same interaction, right? So the first time he did Drive Rush EXDP, this one he did Drive Rush Jab, but Punk wasn't dissuaded from attempting to check. He's fortunate that Cammy didn't have anything to connect with. Wow, that hit? No level two yet for JB. Yeah, he's holding down back. He's committing to not getting opened up by the shimmy, but too much pressure. Too much pressure. Perfect parry. Punk is like, this mechanic sucks. <laughs> Going aggro, trying to chase him down while his drive meter is low. Stagger jab. Yeah, he's, he's forcing it. Oh, found a gap to parry, but still too little. Too late. No. I, I, I don't know if he just chose to eat the DI and accept the loss or if he wasn't ready for level one. Counter hit jab conversion to the corner. Oh! Yeah, that probably would have been a perfect parry. Oh, drive rush into the DI. So tricky. Uh, what a smart time to bring that out to. That's something I've been trying to understand a bit more. When is it the right time to use DI? Because that risk was worth it because he got him the kill. Peppering the lights. Stealing a turn there. The Arabian Cyclone. Challenge successful out of there. Wait a minute. No level two, interrupts too far away to get a meaty overhead. Meaty low would have connected there, but Punk wasn't scared. Punk was not scared. Oh, it's almost like he's trying to get hit by the dive kick. Like going for the air throw, you can get stuffed by early dive kick. Miss executed on the drill there. Sneaky low in the front. Oh no, he thought maybe that would kill, but it didn't. Okay, this time he was ready. This time he was ready. Definitely worth it. Did you see that pop off for JB? That was like some, I don't know, the your high school basketball team, the underdogs are making a comeback against the, the favorites in the Disney Channel movie. I don't know, it looked, looked a little wholesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Bobcats can do it this year. Well, it's not looking good for the Bobcats. Clean 3-0 from Punk, bro said yippee. <laughs> Punk just taking the air out of the room. Punk's won plenty of Frosty Faustings. I don't know how many he's won. The only time I've ever beaten Punk in an offline tournament was Frosty Faustings like 2020 or 2019. I think it was 2019. I beat him in winners and got to top eight. Then JB smoked me and then Punk smoked me in losers and then Punk won the tournament. He beat the crap out of everybody through losers. Punk's kind of good. Eli versus Riddles. So yeah, Riddles actually was really close to beating Punk in top 16 winners. I got Riddles free, not gonna lie. Eli is a wild card. Like, Eli definitely has days where he takes out big names. I would favor Riddles over time in this matchup right now, but Eli for sure, for sure, for sure could do it. Oh, they're both whiffing the low forwards. No whiffs have been punished. Meaty stand fierce. Stay down. Low. Riddles try to go for some Abare. Backdash in the corner, no go, but doesn't get the, the conversion. Eli looking good for this first round. Damn, kind of dominant first round. There we go, clean. Misses the meaty, but the momentum's hella in Eli's favor right now. Low, uh, GG, simple. Uh, uh, Dragon Lash, level three. Wait a minute, did the chat say Riddles free? Wait a minute, Eli's in there. He's rushing that ass down right now. Nice drive rush to maintain the corner. I mean, drive reversal on the drive rush to maintain corner. That was good from Riddles, but his drive meter is a little unhealthy. What a perfect parry, and he's gonna get the meterless side swap. 
And then spends getting shot to put him in the corner. Oh, dangerous. Oh, no. I would have loved to have seen a jump back medium to EX Tatsu. You know, you got to take risks in that position defensively. Plus frames. You're trying to jump away from the potential tick throw there. Oh, your turn in the corner. We're back dashing on wake up. We're, we're guessing on these Oki situations. Guaranteed EXDP. Is that guaranteed from every option? Oh, that's a punish too? Oh, Eli knows some matchup things here. What's he? Wow. Did he do the throw after the flash? If I were riddles, I would just, oh, nice. I would just do that same pressure sequence before. Wow, wake up jab on the empty jump. The fake safe jump. He probably figured that um, riddles was gonna go for an empty jump throw or something of that nature. Meaty stand fierce. That was a huge turnaround. Look at the drive meter. What a DI. That was such a good call from Riddles. So that was a read. Yeah, he, he immediately did DI to, to punish that. Meaty fireball. Oh, he was not confident in the cross cut range. He was kind of jiggling in a weird spot. Oh, but he defends successfully. Eli's uh, guessing on the Oki situations. It's been really good so far. This time he does the safe jump. Okay, I think Eli might have attempted to wake up jab again. Eli's about to build level three. Uh, surprise Dragon Lash. Look at the drive meter situation. Yeah, he's pressuring. Nice heavy kick. Jinrai, is he going to burn it? No, he's keeping it level three this time. DP! Oh, nice corner control. Oh my goodness. Was that optimal? Oh, he dropped! Wait a minute! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a stressful drop. Oh, EX fireball in. You thought your pressure was safe? Crosscut? No, okay. Place it safe. He wasn't confident in that. Oh, he spends it. Meaty overhead? DP? Look at the corner control. Look at the control, Eli. He's playing good. Riddles is on the back foot for sure. Dash forward, surprise to get the back throw. But he's not confident controlling Eli in this corner. Look at this, back to Nooch. Oh, he didn't intercept. Is Eli gonna spend it? He does have level three. Not yet, he, he, he saves it. He knows one more hit, one more conversion. We'll get it. Oh, wasn't ready for the whiff. Oh, we're both going to burn out. Danger time. Danger time. Nice DP. Oh, and there it is. Overhead. I wonder if, if uh, Riddles went for a level three or something. He dropped it. Eli takes it. Let's go, Eli. Good stuff to Riddles. He had a good run. That was a good set. Rise up that tier list. <laughs> Listen, every time we see Luke and Ken on the screen, it doesn't have to be about the Luke and Ken war, okay? Najee versus Marcus, Ramsey, what's he going by? Ramsey was previously known as Random High Fives. In Street Fighter V, he rocked Zangief and Honda. Hidden lore also is he got top eight at first attack in Puerto Rico one year when it was a ranking event for CPT, but he didn't plan on making it that far and had a flight scheduled during top eight, so he had a DQ out of the tournament. <laughs> Najee's Jury East Coast. He just got third place at the CPT East. Almost beat Bananakin in winner's finals of CPT East before falling down and then losing to Dew as well in losers. So super strong Jury play. All right, early start. Oh, the target combo actually connects. <laughs> Rare sight. Whoa. Okay, good, good reaction from Najee. That was kind of... Kind of sneaky from Ramsey. Perfect parry in the fireball. What? That punished? That was a punish. I need to see that situation again. That was a that was a punish counter SPD on the store attempt. I'm not sure why it whiffed. Plus on the knee, the knee is space. It is plus 69 every time. Oh, intercepted. Oh, you're one guess away. Level three is overkill at this point, and it lands. He just goes for it. 
Listen, I don't care how bad Zangief is, playing Zangief on stream in front of a crowd in tournament is always going to be terrifying. There's an inherent buff that Zangief gets and a, and a mental guard break nerf that you get going up against Zangief. The odds are stacked against you. He knows the range. And he knows to punish the extension. So that is a negative extension from uh, the wreck is from Jury. She does the fireball to make it safe, but there's a gap. He uses OD Lariat to interrupt the gap and get a guaranteed punish. Okay, now she's getting his pressure going. Doesn't get perfect parried. Okay, controlling, controlling. But remember, chaos can strike at any moment. Ah, oh, nice back dash, Shimmy. This is scary. Like, it's scary to leave Zangief space when he has level three, because his dry rush shenanigans and dry rush gimmicks are kind of scary. Look, he's in the corner now. Ramsey's going to try to play controlled. Okay, it's Burns to level two. Is, is he gonna spend level one? Okay, burnout. Yeah, force burnout. Look at that. We're in burnout together here. Oh my god. DI? Yep. Oh, that's the wrist, though. He needed that. Wait a minute, Nodge. Oh, you're off on the Oki. Oh, guesses. Ramsey was feeling the momentum. This is a free DI. He's gonna try to milk the burnout. Yeah, now he can go for DI. Yeah, that was, that was a good sequence. Very good sequence from Najee. Try to get some damage while he can, while they're in burnout, and then get, still get the guaranteed DI, because he's level 1, won't stop it. Wait, he's not dead! No, hell no! Oh my god. Oh, spooky, 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 spooky. Oh, whoa, 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 scary, scary, scary. Oh, did he miss his DP? Could he not have SPD there? Wow. Tournament Geef is another beast, man. The shenanigans. Oh, uh, he, he said, if I'm going to go into burnout, I'm going to burnout on my terms. Nice punish. Okay, okay. Good composure from Najee, though. But you're, you're, you're caged. This is what he wants. He wants to cage you. Whittle his way in. Find the right moment. Good interrupt. That was great for Najee. Oh, mid screen four dash back dash shimmy. Najee picking up the rhythm here. We got a set. Air to air. This is the Najee special jump medium air to air into the EX. Frame kill with the light DP. That throws a lot of people off. Oh, you're dead. Keep it simple. Air to air. He's going to get the level one. That might be it. That is the Najee special. Oh, it's not it. Wow, great defense from Ramsey, and he's only an SPD away from, from winning. A punish counter SPD or something? That was scary. That was scary. Yeah, it forces the burnout. I think Najee was thinking, whatever, if you have to spend two bars to anti-air me, I don't I don't mind. Nice reaction. Could he have super though? He might have been able to buffer super behind that. Oh! Oh, he has level three. He does have level three. He wasn't ready. Wait, no super meter. Is he gonna spend drive rush? No, he doesn't spend drive rush. Oh my god, when's it coming? Is he at a level three? Perfect parry! That's exactly what he needed. That's exactly what he needed. DI back, would he would have been dead. Regular parry, oh my god. The scaling from the perfect parry is a lot. The meaty, we still got a match. We still got a match. Najee, this is not bad for you though. You just gotta be mentally composed. I, that's, that's mentally tough, but... But resource-wise, you're you're in the lead. Not anymore, because you gave away too much damage early on. Yeah, he just needed to not go ham in the beginning. That's one of those things where, objectively, Najee was in the lead this round, but mentally he was not. One interaction for Ramsey. And that's it! Ramsey clutched it. Oh my god. He needed exactly that perfect parry on, on the DI. Either way, it was a good set. Either way. Even if Najee made the comeback and took it, it was still a good set. I saw the stare down. This is definitely a Midwest showdown for sure. Mm -hmm. 
Perfect parry denied. Now you're in the corner. Your drive meter is looking a little questionable. Wow, what a commitment to shut down the walk behind the fireball. First interaction straight to ODDP. Am I tripping or did they, did they lower the HUD? I might be tripping, but did they lower the HUD? I don't like it. I, it makes my eyes feel distracted. Big parry. Yeah, the, the HUD is extremely low. It's so distracting. Needy stand fierce. Wow, is Eli going up? 1-0. With two runs straight over just a kid. Uh oh. Nice drive reversal. Eli's just making the correct decisions right now. What that punished? These why everyone in the Midwest knows the jury matchup. They're they're all tired of just a kid terrorizing them. But he burns the bar. Oh, he couldn't get a kill. Okay, nice shimmy, nice shimmy. Pick up to the corner. Pressure. That is, you're so fine with that. Look, he's almost in burnout. Two bars, barely any damage. Yeah, just, yeah. Eli does like to burn level three in these situations, I've noticed. It's pretty rough, though, being in uh, being in this situation, because he could have been greedy. I almost feel like being greedy there would have been worth it. See, now Jessica's just going to spend level three, right? No? Hmm, okay, I mean, right here? No? Hmm, okay, right, but... <laughs> when are you going to spend it? Here? Put yourself on burnout for it. And he can't spend it now. Now he doesn't want to spend it because it's not going to kill. Okay, there we go. Now he spends it. He was like, ah, the scaling's too rough on this interaction. Nah, scaling's not good on this interaction. No, I can't spend level three here because I'm in burnout and the level three won't kill. Okay, this one's going to kill. Hits on the way up practically in the front and then they can land behind and side swap. Okay. Uh, catches the back dash with the stagger. Oh, he's burning it. Level one is not going to kill. Uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. I like the stubbornness here. Now, are you going to spend the level one? Oh, he finds the escape and the air to air. That was amazing. Now just don't eat a random DI, and you're probably going to be okay. Yep. I like. I like just just not even attempting to punish. Wait a minute. Oh, doesn't get the confirm. A throw away? Wow, look at the ballsy walk up on that one. Oh no. Yeah, I like the throw option. He knows he just gets scared of eating that level three. He knows he's scared of the level three. That's why he's willing to eat the throws. He's willing to eat the throws. A bar right, nice drive reversal. Punish? This time he spends the level three, but this isn't gonna kill. No. Oh my God. Eli tried wake up dash. They're both like, you really, you really? Uh, commits to the, the three bars no matter what. Even on whiff, if you buffer lights to drive rush, the drive rush will come out. Reads the fireball with the DI and level one. Is it, is it enough? It's not quite enough. What's, what's Eli gonna do here? Okay, Eli attempted the perfect parry. If you are about to go in burnout, you have less than half a bar of drive meter. If you get a perfect parry, you will keep your drive meter. But, you know, you're just, you're guessing. Pretty much. He did attempt the perfect parry. It didn't land, so he went into burnout instead. Random DI. Unanswered. Just eats it. Yeah, he was looking for burnout. One way or the other, uh, Eli could have spent EX ODDP to go through the gap there with that Fuha string extension. But he just blocked it out. And look where it got him. Look where it got him. Staying alive. Wow. Wow. And oh, no. I was about to compliment just a kid for the drive rush punish start. It's a little awkward to get that. But look at the, look at the drive meter. Forces the burnout. Eli decides that if he's going to go into burnout, he's going to at least get the drive reversal. Oh, gets the confirm. So Eli has level three. 
Got to be a little bit careful about eating the level three. Nice backdash to punish the jump out. Jump in. When's the DI? Is it coming? Oh, big shimmy from half screen away. If he doesn't drop this combo, it's over. Level one, nice and simple. Just a kid. That's it. That's that's it. G G's. Well played to both. That was a good set. Good run from Eli. That was a Midwest uh, team kill right there. He did his thing. Ramsey versus JB. This is gonna be a good set. Rashid versus Zangief. High level. JB's drive meter is already in shambles. Trade combo? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm trying to bait out an ODDP there. All oh, armor through? It's over already. Quick round to Ramsey. Because, you know, Zangief, you need that level one. Oh my god, what an option. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. I was going to say, you need the matchup experience, but also sometimes you need varied player experience, especially a character like Zangief. Was that supposed to be level two? Wait, did this cost Ramsey? Did, did that execution error cost him this round? He doesn't attack. Defense, that might have cost him the round. That cost him the round. Oh my goodness. It's still a first game. Oh, try to get the trade conversion. It was a little bit too far to get something. Perfect parry. Yeah, OD fireball to level two is a classic. Uh, punish counter throw. Just like free damage for Rashid. Okay. okay, he survived it though. And Rashid doing these fireballs, I'm not sure which strength that is. That might be heavy or that goes up immediately. It's pretty good because what it does is it makes people whiff their parry and just waste their drive meter. Clipped him. Wow, that's a heartbreaker for Ramsey. Definitely a guaranteed game for him that he dropped and JB clutched out the comeback there. Stealing turns. Oh, the tick hits, which causes the throw to whiff, which gives Ramsey the back throw in return. Delayed ODDP. Is JB gonna burn it? Okay, challenges. Using the driver rush chop to keep him pinned down mid screen. Interrupts the, the cyclone that was used to steal turns there. Perfect parry. JB's been landing lots of perfect parries, and he's spending level two. I mean, he's not doing too good. Oh my god. Denied any of the mix-ups. Denied. You want to rush down Zangief when he has level three? It's a risk. Denied. Try to challenge after the dry rush overhead, which was plus as well. Shimmy. Ramsey. Whoa, I was going to say good defense from Ramsey for not falling for the shimmy, but that means he was just kind of asleep at the wheel, but he doesn't kill. He doesn't kill, and the level two connects. Now you're in the corner with no meter. Does he just go for the DI? He just goes for it. He's taking his guaranteed damage right now. Late, <laughs> late Lariat, active frame to air SPD, and then one guess away. Like, if he lands an OD, is he going to get the air to air? Oh, I wasn't close enough. Oh, the jump medium kick. It doesn't combo. He just dropped, right? I'm not sure why that didn't connect. Keep jump medium kick is actually pretty good, though. SPD? Oh, just back throw. Oh, forward throw for the Oki. Oh, did it drop? Okay, spaghetti. A little bit of spaghetti. Level two time. No, you gotta take the throw. You gotta take the throw. Oh my god, you tried to attack. You tried to attack. Level three on Ramsey. I was, I didn't speak my thoughts out loud, but I thought JB is not going to be scared of the level three because even if he spends it, he has such a life lead, he's not going to be in burnout. So I don't think Ramsey's going to do it, but he did it. Because I mean, he might go into burn. Wait a minute. And he reset. Oh my God. Oh, interrupt. One more interaction. Wow, Ramsey slowed this down to his pace and JB has no answer so far. Finds the side swap and the level two, the throw built the meter for the level two, this is huge. Oh, he chooses burnout, he chooses burnout. Oh, he, he ate one, is he gonna eat another? 
He has level two to interrupt the, the burnout DI attempt. Oh, he finds the interaction. Oh my God. He's gonna need a miracle to make this happen though. JB's trying to play fast pace. He reads the he reads the jump away in case he went for level three with the air SPD. Oh my god. He's almost in burnout. JB does have level two. Can he can he stop this? What can he do here? He just has to hold this. Delay drive reversal catches him on the other side. Suddenly we have a match. Okay. This won't kill, right? This is way too scaled. He can't he's gonna spend the level one as well, but now he has no super meter. And the meaty! Oh my god. Ooh, all a meter off the table. Rashid will probably build level two during this backdash on the mid screen throw to OD SPD. Well, I don't even know what that is. That's punishable? I've never seen that in my life. But JB knows what it is. Gets the corner for his troubles. Yeah, he's really getting close to the level two. That's the problem with this, this sequence. Good interrupt, an even better jump. He knew the tick SPD was gonna come. Beats the meaty projectile. He has level two on the table. So he's backing up to try to set it up. He gets the, oh my God. Jab with punish, that's it, it doesn't reach. Can he interrupt, can he interrupt? He interrupts, he knows what to do. Ramsey over JB. He knows what he can interrupt the raw level two with. Raw level two does have startup, so if you're in range and you have a move that can intersect with it, you can do that. What a set. What a set. Well played from both of them. Yeah, Brian, this is already a super hype watch party. Great matches. Yep, I'll take all the credit for that. Nice scripts, man. Wrote them myself, fresh off the press. So Punk has been invading the Midwest for years at this point and, and winning Frosty Fausting's trophies left and right. Duel Kevin is from Indiana, so this is his territory to a degree. They're in Chicago, but Indiana, you know, it's all Midwest to them, so he's going to be uh, the hometown favorite here. Crouching medium punch from Luke stuffs the dive kick. What can it not do? Duel Kevin can take advantage of this potentially. No DP, scared of the dive kick. Scared of everything now. Punk is getting out of this burnout for free. Duel Kevin doesn't have enough life to take a DI. But one conversion will kill from both. There it is. Taking the turn back. Lights are negative. After two lights, pretty much, it's over. You can't really do anything to extend your turn unless you cancel to a special move. No DP, no DP, no DP, no DP. Duel Kevin has some of the best anti-airs in the game free and still gets opened up by Kami's uh, jump-ins. And then the throw bait, the throw bait, the hooligan. It's a great, I mean, basically the way that they're using the Why is Punk in the Ewok fit? <laughs> You don't ever want to get in your fuzzy <laughs> brown jacket hoodie and go Ewok mode. Already, <laughs> how do they talk? Isn't that the sounds they're making? Man, it's looking tough for Kevin. Because Kevin's trying to beat Punk at his own game, man. Just slow, controlled footsies, and it's tough. Punk is just the god of it all. Doesn't spend the level three. I guess he calculated it wouldn't kill. You want to keep the super meter when you're in burnout to survive if things go awry. Wow, he goes for the grab. Okay, good round from Kevin. Can he close it out? There you go. On the table is dual Kevin. Clean round. Sweep. He, he keeps going for sweep around the range of uh, dual Kevin... Um, Dual Kevin's crouching medium punch. I wonder if sweep is the button he's choosing to try to whip punish crouching medium punch from Luke. Wait a minute! Dash up level two? Oh, he doesn't even go for it. That dash up level two could be awkward. I think that would have killed. Clean. That's the kind of game Dual Kevin wants. Nice and easy. Big whip punish. Oh, ready for it. Uh, gets the corner, meaty. Oh, he did. Maybe he didn't believe. Oh, the shimmy finally lands. He got to spend the level three. Time to guess. 
He's in throw range. Forces the burnout with the string. What are you going to do about it? Dive kick plus frames. Nice and easy. Punk, he just makes it look easy, man. He makes it look easy. How come when Punk plays, it's so easy to win? And when I play, it's so easy to lose. What's going on there? Ramsey versus Just a Kid. So obviously a Midwest classic. We've been following the Street Fighter V and now Street Fighter VI Midwest scene. Yeah, these two players are, you know, they're always going at it. Uh, and, you know, Ramsey, he just eliminated Najee in a super close set jury. He definitely knows the matchup. And I think that's a, in large part to playing Just a Kid. And I think Ramsey has had some local tournament wins over Just a Kid. Now, I've seen some of the, the uh, regional results with Ramsey just a kid and Ramsey's been taking some W's. So Ramsey definitely knows this matchup and definitely knows how to beat just a kid. And even when watching the JB matchup versus his Rashid, I also got the impression that uh, Zangief has some options against uh, <laughs> against Rashid as well. Stomp combo lands. Where are you going? Okay, what's the mix? Goes for the meaty safe jump. Look how meaty that safe jump is. Regular grab. Guess again. Nice angle from Just a Kid to narrowly escape that. Big jump, medium kick. I don't know how Zangief does against Luke. Converts. Okay. Nice defense, OD Larry to get the anti-air and get some Oki. Oh, that's a punish, and you're in burnout. No bueno, no bueno. Oh, knees plus. Oh, big whiff, you gotta be ready for the whiff knee. Oh, he's harassing. Target combo confirm. Is he gonna do DI? <laughs> yes, he's gonna do DI. He's in range. Oh, he waited and he read the back dash. Ah, the chase down. Oh my goodness, and he lands the perfect parry. Did that even KO? He went for a regular grab. ODDP's out. Low forward confirm. Is he gonna spend the level three? Yeah, like normally I wouldn't like spending this level three, but you put yourself in burnout against Zangief with critical art. Absolutely, you have to take the round. This is gonna be tough though. Oh, meaty situation. Jack thought the SPD was coming. Converts off the meaty. Goes for Oki. Corner control. How will you force your way out of this? He doesn't have level two anymore though. He already spent it so he can be a bit more aggressive with the fireballs, I suppose. Oh, big whiff. It looks like Jessica doesn't know what to do. Oh my God, guess for your life. Converts 2-0 to Ramsey. He knows the matchup too well. DP this time, okay, doesn't doesn't flub it. But he has to be so careful about any of these strings because level two will punish. Oh my God. Okay, big interruption. Is he gonna burn the level three again? See, but he has to burn his level three just to stay in the match. This should kill, right? Yeah. And he's in burnout. Oh my God. Spends the level one right away. Okay, he kills a lot of the burnout timer, but he can't get back thrown. Oh my god, not scared. Nice stagger pressure. Oh my god. This is scary. Ramsey gets to play. Okay, doesn't guess correctly on the mix there. Double dash? With SPD? I'm not sure what they're, what level of mind games are on right now. I'm, I'm not following. Woo! Oh, that was a chunk of damage that you cannot afford at this point. Life deficit is looking gnarly. Good place with the low forward. Misses the meaty. Abare from Ramsey puts him at match point. Ramsey has level two again. He can't use his fireballs that well. C finds the opening though. To the corner we go. All right. Can you turn this into something? The double jump and lands. That thing is gnarly. Level two time. Oh, he doesn't, oh, he didn't believe. He had the hit. Side swap, yeah. Oh my God, he didn't believe. One SPD away from taking it and he, that was punishable. 
Couldn't he have SPD that? That was so that was so high up. He could have just OD SPD, I think, in one right there. Okay, so no level two, so he can use fireballs a bit more. But you know, Stan Fierce armor can get through that. He's SPD through the, the run behind the fireball as well. Oh, they're playing footsies. They're playing footsies. He finds the low. He doesn't build the level one though. He doesn't build the level one. No, he didn't have the level. He didn't have it. Oh my god. In the final moments, no one remembers. No one remembers that. Uh, you can't jump back away from that throw setup. Level one ain't that bad after all. Level Geese level one works for that every time. Button to drive rush throw whiff to punish the jump back. That that's what it's meant for, and it de it definitely does that. Wow, good stuff to Ramsey. That was clutch. Brian rooting for Geef. I'm not rooting for Geef. I'm just appreciating good a good match. So we're going to losers finals. Dual Kevin versus Ramsey coming up. Winner of that will play Punk. At this point, you know, Dual Kevin's my boy, Ramsey's my boy. I probably would root for Ramsey at this point because I think it would be more exciting to watch Ramsey versus Punk. <laughs> Interesting. So Dual Kevin does have a strong Rashid, super strong Rashid in Street Fighter V. I'm interested to know why he thinks Rashid rather than Luke. He saw how good Ramsey did against JB. Rashid is more slippery. It can catch you by surprise. Luke matchup, it's kind of cut and dry, even though it's Luke is very strong. Hmm. Whoa, okay, just commits to an SPD after the spinning mixer. Oki? Oh, he guessed incorrectly. Wow. I'm telling you, Zangief still only needs one, man. He's got to spend meter for the Oki, but he that Oki, Oki is Oki when you have a command grab. Wow, just commits right away to the wake of level three. Oh my god. Suddenly life lead for Zangief. Connects with the light kick, and there. Oh, he just parries it out, doesn't even drive reversal, back his mid-screen, so that was kind of just feeding drive meter for Ramsey. Okay, this time he responds appropriately with the ODDP, gets the level two out, and Ramsey's low in drive meter. Okay, he parries appropriately, but he's got to hold this mix. <gasps> Whiff! Oh, that actually... Kev actually flubbed his setup there, which worked out. Oh, big jump! Yeah, reacting to the dry rush of the ODDP every time. Oh, uh, OD spinning mixer has a lot of horizontal range, so that seems pretty good to use. Oh, baits the dry reversal. You're dead. Level one. Nice. Sand medium kick. <laughs> Since when did he have that move? Oh, whiff punish on the Smitty Mixer. Big damage. Perfect parry check. Oh, that's huge. He lands the back throw. Stop lands. He predicts the jump. Big damage. Guess for your life. Oh, cheeky whiff jab to psych him out. Dash up, light SPD. Uh, I'm not surprised he's in this position. I know people are like, wow, Geef in six, but I'm definitely not surprised about Ramsey doing it. He's been competing at this level for a long time and he's piecing it all together today. Why don't I go this year? I don't want to fly out there. And I'm going to Capcom Cup next month. No, I'm not playing the LCQ. <sighs> Too much time needed. Good interruption. Level two, just to close out the round. I mean, he's probably gonna get the round. Yeah, that's not even that bad for Ramsey. They're playing Nooch. Oh, oh, he didn't believe in the whip punish. He could have converted that to a spike overhead block. He challenges. That's scary. Level three on Ramsey's side. He can bust that out if you try to go for some uh, overextension on your pressure. Okay, no level three. Wow, not scared of the level three is, is uh, Dual Kevin. 
Level three is on the table, remember. Will he find a way to land it? Oh, what a maneuver from Duel Kevin. Empty jump to the throw. Duel Kevin piecing it together. This is what I mean, so dry and clean. Dry cleaning. Oh, the knee whiffs. No punish from Duel Kevin. I almost expected an SPD out of Ramsey, getting cheeky with it. Okay, finally finds an SPD. Blocked the headbutt. He's, he's accepted neutral. Sneaky dash. One more button. Two jabs, one medium. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. He doesn't burn the level two. Oh, he just goes for meaty throw. Dual Kevin is just holding his ground in neutral and he's representing that heavy kick so much more often. I don't think JB used that button hardly at all. But he's in the corner. Oh, used the instant air cyclone to beat the SPD attempts. Oh, he's gonna set up level two? No. Burnout is in. Nice interruption. <laughs> Great conversion. Zangief optimal B and B right there. Oh, nice punish. That's a great DI from Duel Kevin. That was he dropped. No, great DI, but a horrible drop. He gets another turn with the Cyclone. Nice parry this time, but you get punished anyways. Dude, level two is gnarly. Guess for your life. Backdash on the meaty throw plus frames. He gets his turn back. Counter hit. Ramsey staying alive. Duel Kevin solo match point with one bar super conversion. Optimize that. Oh, look at the delay. Trying to bait out a reversal potentially. Mid screen pressure. Text the throw back to the nooch. Heavy kicks incoming, of course. Headbutts. Oh, what a challenge. And he had an execution error that worked out. He definitely did not want to do raw eagle spike. This is bad spot. This is a bad time for, for Ramsey here. One mix up, he takes the throw, parries out of this one. Another throw for your tournament life. What is it? No wake up level three, Tex. He's one random button away though. No level one. I wonder if a DI is going to come to try to bait out like Dual Kevin's heavy kick with the DI. It's the overhead. Overhead. Man, he could have matched. He could have, should have, would have, could have matched that level three on Wake Up. But the run for Ramsey comes to a close here. Good run. Props to Dual Kevin. Like I said, Dual Kevin, he's, he's very efficient. Super dry gameplay, but very, very strong neutral. Solid composure. Makes the game seem simple. That's always been his style. Man, I would have loved to see Ramsey versus Punk, but now we got Dual Kevin versus Punk in the Grand Finals. And Punk kind of picked him apart first time, not gonna lie. Dual Kevin is the World Warrior Regional Finals champion out of uh, CPT Midwest. Punk not qualified for Capcom Cup, despite having some of the best results in the game. Dropped it when it counted for the US East Regional Final and the US East CPT, and then proceeded to beat all those players who beat him in multiple tournaments to win them all in the next week. The next week, he won three major weeklies that had all those players and he beat them all every single time. Yeah, he, he beat Paladin, he beat Dew, he beat Banana Can, he beat everybody. Just like on the day that it counted, it didn't come together. Punk versus Duel Kevin. Least hype grand finals. Their play styles are definitely slow. The, the problem is when you have a play style like Duel Kevin's versus Punk's, um, it's hype if it's not a wash. So the problem was last set it was a wash, but it can be also a raise within margin, which would make it hype, but they're both very slow, very controlled players. And when two, both players are slow and controlled and one player is consistently outpacing you and winning every round, it's just a slow defeat, which definitely doesn't make it that hype. Checked, oh, no convert. One hit, they both have level three. Jumped again, dude, he cannot anti-air Punk. Punk's jumping has been too strong against Kevin. Convert, yes sir. Oh, he dropped? Was that, was the timing off or was the spacing funky? I don't know what happened there. He's taking the throw. Oh my God, he challenged, alive. Okay, that was kind of funky, but alive. Punish counter sweep and a punish counter throw. No DP again, I'm telling you guys, pay attention to how successful Punk is at forcing the jump in pressure. 
Dual Kevin is not a, sh a schlub when it comes to the anti airs. He's one of the most consistent anti airs in the game, but Punk's jump ins with Cammy, his mix ups have been so strong. And I'm sure Kevin is like using 110% of his brain power to try to control the ground. Interrupts the drive rush. There we go. Okay. Meaty converts around for Kevin. A perfect. Even there, like, oh my god, I, I'm, oh, he whip, you're dead. Nice and easy. Okay, uh, kind of an unforced error. Punk be trying to talk to people. Punk did that to me at Frosty Fostings too. He like tried to talk to you, like laugh about something, and I'm like, you gotta, I'm not acknowledging you. <laughs> oh, that's where you gotta be careful about the ground game as well. Another option she has. Dive kick your toes, you expose the toes to try to clip her. She just stabs them with her dive kick. Oh my god. Okay, no punish. He That was a missed DP. Punish? You're dead. Nice and easy. Wait a minute. Dual Kevin in the lead in this set. Just controlling. Oh, converts on the counter hit? Is he going to burn it? No. What? Does he even do anything? I don't know if that was on purpose or not. That looked like some flubs. Okay, Kevin's a little shook. He's like, wait a minute. You know what else I noticed? Dual Kevin never even attempts neutral jump. Wow, what a reaction. He was waiting for the fireball to OD spin knuckle through full conversion to the level three. Don't talk to him. Put on your headphones, Kev. He's disarming you. Nice control from Punk. Oh, not a single anti or punk's jump game is too strong right now, man. Dude, literally not a single thing has been anti aired. Is, is he going to take advantage of this? I don't think he really has enough life to DI through any pokes. Match point, tournament point for punk. Just everything is just slowly working in punk's favor. Can Duel Kevin pull a miracle off? Big Fierce. Swinging that thing. To the corner you go. One throw. Can we get a two? No. <laughs> no, we can't get a two. We can't get a two. It said you're in the corner. Is he going to burn it? No. Tick throw. Okay. Still looking good. Nice. Drive rush cancel to get the back throw. Dual Kevin in the corner. Look at the bulldogging. Bulldog straight in there to get that throw. Oh, that was negative. Okay. Oh, one interaction away. Perfect parry. That was the same trick he tried to pull earlier in the tournament. Drive rush to DI. That DI would have sealed the deal had it landed. Hey, it worked. Still zero. I don't count that as an anti-air. Still zero anti-airs from Dual Kevin this entire set. Meaty jab. Tries to go for a reset. He whiffs. He's dead. Don't drop. Nice and easy. Wow. He DP'd once. Okay, apologies. One DP out of, out of like 40 successful jumps. <laughs> Does that really count if you don't intend to anti-air and you anti-air? I don't know if I count that. No. Thun uh, knuckle out of the corner. DI. Yeah, he's going to go for some shenanigans. What a check on the knuckle. Tournament point again. Meaty. Oh, he didn't, he didn't believe. I don't know if he could have driver. Oh, he didn't believe on that one either. Cross cut. It's not successful, dude. Oh, Meaty. He tried to jump out of the corner. Maybe backdash. No anti air on the neutral jump. Wait a minute. It whiffed. Whiff punish. Punk's turn to play. Drive meter low from Punk, though. An anti air. They exist. Drive rush overhead blocked. Back to neutral. TP. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Kev is seeing the spacing. He knows that Punk is tightening up on the defense. He can get the throws in. Oh my god, those huge whiffs. Oh, he doesn't burn the level three? He didn't believe? Oh, that could have converted. Dry rush low, stop short. Puts himself in burnout. Connects. That's a reset. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen, we thought it would be a wash, huh? Oh, instant rematch. Instant rematch. Big sweep, jump side swap. Punk ain't talking anymore. We'll see, we'll see. I think they're starting to lock in a little bit. 
Low forward, denied. Wow, he avoided the take throw situation. Punk a little bit misspaced on that. Plus, Dual Kevin had room out of the corner to walk out. Wake up, super. He knew. He knew. Oh, what a read. Look at the drive meter situation. Cross cut denied again, but he missed the punish. Is he going to burn it? Level two, I like this route. This route is amazing. In burnout, you go. Level two's burn a single bar of drive meter. Oh, good timing in the jump out. God. That cross cut finally works. First one of the set, I think, for cross cuts, at least. Big shimmy. They're gaming right now. They're gaming. Get the damage and fix the drive meter situation. Strong positioning for Punk now. I think he meant to drive rush cancel like, or something else. I can't imagine. He, I don't think he meant to cancel to that tackle. He didn't know what to do with it. So it, he's trying to fake the fireball because, yeah, yeah. It's kind of a, a, a tense game between fireball for chip damage for the drive meter and spin knuckle right now. Okay, no, they're out of that. They're out of that range. It's probably not thinking about spin knuckle anymore. Wait a minute. Wait, is he dead? He's not dead. He's not dead. But but what about the chip? Oh my God, he's dead. What the hell? That killed? In the lead in the set. Hey, Dual Kevin, pull off your headphones and say something to Punk. The answer to Luke is Luke. How come no one's using JP? Come on, everyone knows JP is the answer. Punk cooking this round. He's in burnout. Oh, you didn't DI that? Oh my god, he, that was very risky from Punk because he didn't have level three to make that safe. Zero. Yeah, they trade jabs. Dual Kevin just spending that to try to get some corner carry. Nice parry. He didn't have life for DI, so you had to go for the parry there. Nice check. Oh my god. Oh, perfect parry. Nice route to DI to force the burnout. That was that was perfect routing. Oh, of course. They can just buffer a crash in medium to, to medium knuckle and just level three anything they want. But Dual Kevin's one hit away from the win as well. Yeah, force the drive rush approach for the guests. Punk wins the first match of the mirror. Wow. Rashid? Rashid is, is Kevin's answer to the Luke mirror? Okay, Dual Kevin locked it out for this interaction. Whoa! That knocked him full screen? Big kick throw. Oh, he his cross cut attempt got crossed. Okay, anti-airs. Dude, delayed overhead from Rashid is so sneaky. Doing it late in the drive rush for some reason works so well. Oh, went for perfect parry. Just a meaty throw. Nice and easy for Punk. Oh, big perfect parry. Okay. Medium pressure. Like it, confirm. What's Punk's answer here? He tried the Abare. Tight meaty from Dual Kevin. Reserved defense there from Dual Kevin. Cyclone swap side gets the throw. Level two. First level two against Punk. What does he do? Oh, enhanced mixer connects with the punish counter. Oh, he tried to get another enhanced mixer. It doesn't work this time. Puts himself in burnout, going for the kill. He, he's buffering. Punk is buffering. Oh my god, that could have been a level three. Any one of these interactions with fireballs is so dangerous. It whiffed! The hurt box retraction from the charge knuckle. Punk on tournament point. Only one bar from Punk. Wait a minute, he can find a way to set this up? Yeah, there it is. Oh, no, it was too close. Usually they use EX whirlwind uh, shot to set up a situation with the fireball. That's gonna be punished! What did he do? He messed up the target combo. He put himself in burnout. He has no bar. This is it. This is it. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. 
He's dead. He dropped. That was guaranteed death. He dropped. Oh my God. He's going to spend level two now. But he put himself in burnout. He's just taking the drive meter chip and the overhead. We got a final game. I cannot believe Dual Kevin dropped, dropped the combo. Oh my God. Final game, Rashid versus Cammy. Die pick on the toes, but Dual Kevin challenges. Look at Punk, wait a minute. Sliver of drive meter. Walks out of the range of the low forward. Puts himself in burnout. Immediate DI does not get checked. Wait a minute. He built, he built level two. Confirm. Jab medium confirmed to level one from Punk. Enhanced mixer gets him in, takes the throw. What's the mix here? Empty load denied. Enhanced mixer again, forces the drive reversal at least. Perfect parry. Look at the drive meter damage. I like the DI route as well. Mixer, he's ready. I think the mixer is like a better anti-air option than Luke's DP. Kev feels much more comfortable going for the air, anti-airs. What's the mix? Low, it connects. If he doesn't drop, this is it. With a perfect 69 every time, we're going to final game, final round. Dual Kevin's brought it all the way to here from loser's side. Punk early corner advantage, doesn't DP. The, the jump, Odi Cyclone connects. Counter hit conversion. He has a level two, he has level two, pop level two. Oh my God. This is such a strong position for Dual Kevin right now. Punk might try to, he's trying to bait out a level three attempt from Punk. Cross up lands. It whiffed. Drive rush starter, the ODTP whiffed. I can't believe that. That is such an unfortunate whiff. Single hit from Punk is gonna kill for sure. It, it didn't drive rush cancel, that was tournament. Oh my God, the whiff. Punish counter throw, one more interaction for Punk. The shimmy at the end, the spaghetti interactions. Punk closes it out. Oh my God. Who said that wasn't gonna be hype grand finals? Woo, good stuff to duel Kevin. Made Punk sweat. They, they weren't talking and laughing it up after that. That's, that's what I like to see. Who said that wouldn't be hype? I did. I was concerned it wouldn't be hype because we saw how the winner's side set worked. I think it was 3-0 in the winner's side, but he got the download, he adapted, pushed it to the limit, and then we ended up seeing how many characters? Uh, Luke, Cami, and Rashid. We ended up seeing three characters and constant switching from each players. So that could have been a wash, but instead it was down to the wire and very exciting. Dude, yeah, that was crazy. I don't know why that EXDP dropped. I don't know what the, the deal was, was with that interaction, if that was just mistiming or weird spacing or something. You know, there's always hidden variables with a lot of combo routing in this game and something went wrong. Man, that was so close. Good top eight.